everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. I do need to apologize though because this week is kind of special. Uh, my neighbors right above my room actually decided this week was a great week to get a dog and so therefore I cannot record in my room for the time being with the, the dog barking literally constantly. So if the audio for today's video does sound kind of poor, I do apologize quality wise. I don't have my soundboard behind me or my sound foam uh, out th throughout the room. So if today's quality of audio is bad, I do apologize guys. I just need to, you know, I don't know, go kill a, a dog. So anyway, for the time being, I'm in my roommate's room. So thanks to Pat. Many of you guys who have actually watched my CSGO streams in the past know Pat, so thanks to him. And also, but welcome back to another episode of CSGO News. A lot of great stories out there, and I'm sure in the last few months, many of you guys have seen the large amount of investors. We've had MLB stars, NBA players. We've also had many celebrities out there try and get into the CSGO scene, and especially invest in these esports teams as well. And Cloud9 has now achieved one of the largest investments of all time. They actually have now received $25 million in additional funding from a lot of sources out there, actually a group of funders, one of them being the WWE, which is actually crazy to see. That's World Wrestling Entertainment. Many of you guys, when I say WWE, all around the world, you know what that means. Along with them, we've had other investors like Hunter Pence, an MLB star, uh, actually plays for the San Francisco Giants. He actually upped his investment, so he invested many months ago, and he's now reinvested even more. This actually following many things out there. Now, of course, many of you guys know the rising salaries for CSGO players, and we've actually had revealed in the past how much CSGO players for Cloud9's team actually get paid. So that money will, of course, go to that. But even more importantly, many of you guys know the Overwatch League spot that Cloud9 did attain. Along with that, the NLCS for League. League of Legends spot, that funding will all likely go towards that mostly, with that being you know $13 million plus for at least the League of Legends spot and more for the Overwatch League spot as well. So that's going to be a lot of funding and Cloud9 has now actually received one of the highest amount of investors or investments of any esport organization out there and of course they have the teams to actually back that up. Now on top of that as well, we have in further stories out there guys, SK Gaming try finally trialing out their new player Bolts from Immortals. Many people think this is actually not going to go through but as of right now, Epicenter, a big tournament is going on. It's actually a very large tournament to close out this year before WESG in the major and they are trying out their newest member Bolts and they've actually been playing quite well with them. Their actual first matchup was a best of three with Virtus Pro and they dominated that matchup. Bolts not doing amazing but still you really can't argue the fact based on his team stats they all did very very well and he actually was 11 over that KD ratio. So a great showing so far with Immortals Bolts. What do you guys think about this? It almost solidifies his role in that team for WESG and once the major does pass we're going to assume as of right now he will be the permanent replacement for their current member Phelps who of course did have actually come from Immortals as well so that Immortals roster has become kind of a build team for that team as well. Who knows where Phelps will go as of right now but it does seem almost solidified that early in 2018 that Phelps will be replaced on SK Gaming by Bolts from Immortals and he will leave that roster and leave Steel, his his teammate there that he was actually sticking things out with for so long, he will leave him behind for the best Brazilian team in the world. And also some quick Swedish updates for roster changes out there. Epsilon has now finalized their new roster. If you guys remember about a month ago or less than that, they actually acquired the Fnatic Academy roster and they've actually now return Barbar -Bar to that starting roster. If you guys can see on screen, Smoothie is still on that bench along now with Moken and alongside that Barbar -Bar was on their bench. He's actually replaced Moken who actually had some eye trouble. So unfortunate enough, we've actually seen many injuries out there in the CSGO scene from wrist to shoulder to pectoral muscles with Olaf Meister and now we see a new kind of injury with the eye. So best of luck to Moken. It does seem that as of right now, Barbar -Bar will stand in for the time being, but he's only a stand-in player. So that new Epsilon roster again will be on screen for all of you guys. Now on top of that, we do have some rumors out there, but before we get into the rumors, I do also want to talk about some FPL updates. I think FPL, although struggling in the past, sometimes when competing with other servers out there, other uh, whatever you want to call them, they've actually made some great updates and actually tried to adding full teams into FPL that have actually accomplished things outside of their servers. This actually comes with Team Exodus. They have now added that full entire team. If you guys remember this roster though, actually added one of their better players. That's Frozen, just 15 years of age, one of the youngest pro players out there. He was already in FPL, but now his full team is actually in FPL altogether. I really like what FPL does here where they actually see, based on how well a team is doing, they can actually add that entire team uh, into FPL just based off their competitive scene play. And Exodus is actually on the rise. As of right now, they're currently ranked number 32 on the HLTV ranking, so best of luck to them in the future. And on top of that, FPL also added one of the newest members. That's actually Nico's cousin. I figured I'd include all this, guys. How much, I mean, kind of similar he looks to Nico, but that's actually Nico's cousin on screen for all of you. But because of how, how well FaZe Clan is doing, I thought that I'd share with all of you guys some FPL updates. And there have been a large list of new players that are now joining FPL, so best of luck to that server in the future. Now, on top of that, some rumor news you guys might want to hear about. We do have several rumors going on. I've told you guys about this, but more evidence on top of all the evidence in the past. We now have several players out there from Na'Vi and from Flipside saying that the trade will happen. A swap for Seized and, of course, Electronics swapping directly players back and forth between Na'Vi and Flipside. Of course, that'd be Seized leaving Na'Vi for Flipside and, of course, Electronic leaving Flipside for Na'Vi. We're not really sure at this point. It's actually a troll. A while ago, we had Electronic leave that Flipside Steam group. That could have been a troll on their part as well because their founder of Flipside 
actually said this was not going to happen, although we had the founder and CEO of Hellraiser say it was going to happen. So a lot of conflicting evidence out there as of right now. I think a lot of us actually hope this will go down in the CIS scene. Now on top of that, even more importantly, when it comes to the MVS Steam group, we've had two of those players actually leave that Steam group, two of them actually being RPK and Scream. Of course, many of you guys are well aware, probably one of their better players being Scream. Uh, definitely a sought after character and a weird time for these two players to be leaving the Steam group. If this is actually a future prediction of them leaving MVS altogether, it seems like a very, very odd timing, especially with major and minor qualifiers coming up for Team Envious. They need that full man roster. So we'll see what they do in the future, guys. Those are only rumors as of right now. We'll see if any Envious changes happen, any Navi changes happen soon. And I think the major qualifier will actually affect a lot of this, especially if those two teams do not manage to qualify for the major or even the major qualifier. We can expect roster changes sometime soon for those rosters. And again, I really want to apologize, guys. Please leave a comment down below. I'm going to try to reply to as many as possible. I've had a lot busier of a week than I thought initially. When I first video, I told you guys I'd have a free week. Well, this week is actually one of the busiest I've had all school year. So please leave a comment down below what your favorite story was. I'm going to leave today's episode very short. I have saving some other stories for tomorrow's episode, guys. So hope you all enjoy and watch that episode tomorrow as well. As always, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you. And again, sorry for the terrible audio quality. I hope to be back in my own room tomorrow with some better audio. So hope you guys all enjoy. Live, love, laugh, laugh, my magic, my like you. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.